Got a bunch of new products that have been sent to me to have a look at. Let's get into it and see what these new things are all about, give you a little taste. So first thing I wanna mention is that Falcon, which is made by UVI, and is a sampler, synthesizer, kind of does a bit of everything, just came out with a free update. And with that update, they brought something that I think is really, really important. And that is with the browser, they now have previews, so you can go through. Go through any library and hear previews right away. That is just a brilliant way to find sounds. And I have to say one of my favorite libraries that I've been working with lately is this 8-bit synth. I've got a video on this one as well, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. It's just got some really great synthy patches that I've been using a lot for sound design stuff. So, and now I can go through. Just arrow through and get a really quick preview of the patch before I load it up. Absolutely brilliant. This is only something we had in complete control before. Now we have it in contact, but now we have it in UVI's Falcon. So it's not actually loading it. Whereas something like Omnisphere, if you go through the patches, it's actually loading the patch and giving you a, a little preview as well, which is a nice way to do it also. And I wish most synths had that. Even that is good enough. And then they've also added subcategories of patches. So you can go, all right, in 8-bit synth, I want a bass patch. And so now you're just looking at the bass patches. I want something that is maybe arpeggiated. So I'm gonna go synth miscellaneous and then just go to arpeggiated. And now we're gonna only get the arpeggiated patches. And I've used this synth so many times in sound design. I'm doing music for a video game called Kubrick. So you can look it up, C-U-B-R-I-C. And I use a lot of this kind of stuff in the music and in the sound effects. With this Falcon update is they've got this modular drums and another thing called pulsation. Looks like we have really basic controls on this patch. Of course, with Falcon, you can go in and dig into all sorts of characteristics of the sound and how it's being created. Looks like we've got some kind of step sequencer going on here. So I can just turn that off. And now we can just play the patch. So you do have to know a little bit about Falcon to go in and turn off things like an arpeggiated patch or a sequence patch or whatever, but it is a very deep sampler and definitely worth checking out. So I'll put a link to that in the description and then let's go look modular drums on, which is also new. Oh, hunting, hunting. This one definitely sounds like a Bjork song with a similar title. Okay, so I've got my tempo set really fast. It looks like the tempo for this one was set at about 75. So let's take it down to 75. That's really fun. And then of course you've got the hit. With this one, they've only got one beat per patch. And so what you would have to do is get in there and start to digging into the patch to go and change things up. So you can see how complex each patch actually is. And now we can see. We can see this kind of this script for all the different hits. So what happens if we put So let's come back to that modular drums thing and we'll have a quick look at some other new products that just came out. And one of them is called Porphyra. I think that's how you pronounce it. This was made by a company called Ocean Swift as well as Sonora Cinematic. This one's made by smaller companies and it's the first third party virtual instrument to use some of the new features of Contact 8. So you have to use Contact 8 or the free Contact 8 player. And I think what is making it special is just the fact that it's using this new wavetable functionality that was brought into Contact 8. And of course the problem with any new virtual instrument is just now I gotta learn where all of the stuff that we want to use is on this virtual instrument. And it looks like you've got two sides. You've got wavetable and a sample, and then we've got ways to get between the two of them right here. Let's try loading up a patch. Well, 
that's really nice. And it looks like the mod wheel switches between the two sides. We can see that it is beautifully mapped out onto the keyboard. So if you have a complete control Mark III of some sort, you're going to get a lot more out of using the virtual instrument with hardware. So we can go to the sample side, we can go to the wavetable side, we can go to the layers and, and adjust the difference between them. We can go and work with the filter. Let's try a couple more patches out just for fun. We can see the different types of patches we've got. And so we can go mallet, instruments, and then we can go sound effects, which I do like. I like, I do a lot of sound design work. So I do like it when there's lots of sound effect presets. Synth leads, we got 200 presets. Synth pads, we got 125. So it does look like it's mostly synth leads that you're gonna get on this one. So next thing we'll look at is by Arturia. We got another new synthesizer recreation, the Synthex. And this one has a bunch of videos out already for it, but I just wanted to throw this in there because I love the sound of the patches so far. So let's have a look at this. of Canada sort of feel to it. With a, a synthesizer recreation, it's like, it's fun and it gives you an authentic sound. But unless you're somebody who actually knew what the Synthex was and, and thought, I really want to get that synth one day, but it's too expensive. So now I get a virtual version. But for the rest of us, it's like, now I got to learn how this synth works. So the nice thing about Arturia synths is they do have nice clean layouts and make things makes sense, even if they maybe didn't on the original hardware. Here it looks like we've got two layers, a layer A and a layer B for each patch. And then this mode here determines whether you're hearing just one of those layers or both of them or both of them in stereo. And the nice thing about Arturia synths is once you get to the advanced stuff, things start to look fairly similar and you've got similar effects and things look a lot like pigments. So if you are a pigments user, going to any of their other synths is gonna make a lot of sense. It looks like we've got MPE control in here as well. If your keyboard has polyphonic aftertouch, then you can already start digging into some of that stuff, which is different from MPE, by the way, but it is MPE compatible, which is great. Anyways, uh, let's come back to this one and let's go and start putting something in, but we're gonna use battery. Let's look at the new expansion called Brass and Bounce. All I do in battery is type in Brass and Bounce, and now I'm just seeing these new kits that came with this library. So why am I not using machine right now? Because I'm waiting for the machine update, and I know it's coming soon, and once that happens, I promise I will start digging right back into machine. So any of my machine followers, it's coming, I promise. Okay, super bassy bass drums. I really like that actually. Okay, so let's go with that. We'll call this the Decky Kit, just to see if they've got some brass samples in there. Click brass. So live horns, vocals, drum synths, soulful energy of New Orleans. Live recorded brass guitars. Awesome, so it does have some legitimate players on this, which I think is really cool. Definitely could use more brass samples. Okay, so let's just put in a little beat with this uh, decky kit. It's 
So let's put some chords to that with Porphyra. Here we go. Let's go to SynthX and see if we can find a bass patch that works. Okay, let's go back to Falcon for a sec. What do we have on here again? Then let's look at the kick. Let's go with another Synthex track. Let's try lo fi keys, see what they got. Okay, that sounds great. Let's go with that one. So the last thing we'll do is load up another Falcon track. And with this one, we'll just go find a, a, a lead sound in this pulsation and see if we can play this out. And thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.